sure what to go with this is my star 1980 Charvel body 78 Strat neck this is my first guitar this is a guitar that was built the same time same place as Randy's Concord and he kept laughing at me because I was a dumb kid getting this made and he goes why are you I mean the body cost me 80 bucks this was like 120 and for them they didn't paint it they just put it together and i had this pickup and this it's a super distortion and a paf i didn't have them wire this i just had them wire this i didn't have this the total cost was like a hundred two hundred like three hundred and something to put it together and it was complete not painted but it had the pickups and i could play it and everything and he just thought it was crazy that a 14 year old kid was getting this and I had uh, an amp a uh, half stack of something what did I have it was junk I had a pig nose amp and and something else and I did buy a white Marshall 100 watt but it was junk I, I didn't get the right one until I got the anniversary <clears throat> but he just thought you know I'm doing it the wrong way I need to learn how to play first then I buy my custom guitar. Then I buy a Marshall. That's the way Randy thought. I thought, I got the money. I've been working. I want this guitar now. So I'm buying it. And I'm having it put together. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. You know, I did it my way. And I had a Marshall, you know, when I, by the time I got my Marshall, this was done so i had this i had an iceman i had a court friggin flying v and something else but i was ready to go ready to go then i started trying out for bands like london and me like i said me and fred curry you know i think this is his name the guy the drummer and cinderella he was actually in london for a couple of weeks for a couple of weeks i was in we jammed and did, you know, played some crap, and everybody thought it was great, but uh, Lizzie Gray was, you know, he was nodding out. He was on something, so that didn't work out. Then I went to this other stupid band where the drummer was incredible, but everybody else sucked, and it was just, like, some fat chick, and I think the bass player was married to the singer. I don't want to say any names, but it was stupid, so I was trying to get the drummer to come with me and form a band and he's like why this is bands are ready to go and they rock i'm like they don't rock and i was the rhythm guitar player which was i was fine with that but i'm like you know what <clears throat> what am i doing i need to put my band together so that's when it all you know, kind of worked itself out and that took a while man my first band not counting the band that I substituted on guitar for, you know, these kids in high school. Trey, the guy that was eventually the singer in Fatal Attraction, when he was a kid, he was always bothering me. He was running around like a gnat. And he'd put together these bands, and he'd book gigs, and somebody would freak out, and they wouldn't play. And it was always usually the guitar player. So he'd call me, and I'm like, dude, I don't know your song. So we'd split it. I had five songs. He had, like, five songs, and we'd just play the shows. And then I would uh, actually, we started playing, 
because he just kept booking, and I'm like, well, at least I'm getting out there, even though he sucked. And you can look up the Valentine uh, demos and hear how, you know, he sounds like Peter Brady's horrible. But anyways, at least I was getting out there, and we started getting better, you know, like we found Daz Bash, who was in that band Paradise. That's all he did. He was in my band, or, or he was in the first version of Fatal Attraction with no vampire, because I wasn't going to be in a band called Valentine. And then, because there was already St. Valentine, and I didn't want to be it, I don't want to have it named after the singer, because then he'd have too much control over things. So we changed it to Fatal Attraction, because that was a song I wrote. And then, after that, I took Daz out, but the trouble was, is I had to take the rhythm of the other guitar player, who sucked. Every solo he did was somewhere here, and it was like, it didn't matter what the song was like, what the so, what key it was, but this is how he would just do this. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's how it was. I'm like, what is he doing? He goes, dude, Van Halen, man. I go, that's not even right. That doesn't, that sounds horrible. And everything is not in E. Like, you're supposed to be playing an A on this one, and in D on this one, and E on that one, but you can't do this weird, wrong tapping crap. So, we got big stiletto just because of the crazy shows <coughs> then I broke it up took the bass player formed Trick or Treat which is Mandy Lines first band formed in December of 86 we played the first show in March 87 and then just went from there but this has been through everything every band that I play guitar and I actually played a few times in Fatal Distraction but I love this thing it has seen a lot it's got that I mean the neck isn't terribly worn like some necks for a 40 year old guitar but I clean it I had mine cleaned all the time but uh, you can tell it's got its dents from kicking it around and throwing it off stage or throwing it at the drummer or throwing it at the singer or whatever okay so can you hear me all right Let's just jam on whatever this lands on as far as drum tracks and go from there, okay? Sounds good? Yes, it does. Of course it does. Let's go. And go. And be louder.
Wow. The thing with this is this is a, what, 22? Okay, so I'm used to going, like, E and going... But I can't. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this guitar is cool anyways. It sounds good. This is uh, mounted directly to the body. You can see the bridge. Super distortion. Uh, that's it. Let's cut this. Remember, comment, say anything. And uh, keep subscribing. We're getting there slowly, very slowly, but we're getting there. And if you want to know why I wear the same shirts like all the time, because... I don't know what else to wear. You know, there's uh, that Phil McKnight. He wears this man plus guitar equals dude. And there's all these people that have these looks. I'm like, well, this is my look. I have a hat. I have it with these crazy goggles on. The cool goggles, actually. They're very, uh, what do you call them, steampunk? That's what someone say, dude, those are cool steampunk. I'm like, no, they're like goggles with spikes, dude. Metal. So, it's the metal look. And I buy these shirts by, like, the dozen when I go traveling. Because they sell them at truck stops. What do they look like? A truck stop shirt, don't they? That's what they are. <coughs> I'm getting for, like, five bucks. That's why I have so many, and I just wear them. Otherwise, I wear other shirts, but then you can't see my muscles and my pants. Right? Right. Okay, so that's that. <laughs>